Hey, Sean here from CoolDistry.com. Hope you're all doing well out there. Today we're taking a look at the new Beach House track, PPP, from their new album, Depression Cherry. Now this song is totally awesome and it's also totally Beach House, and that means we're not strumming a single thing in this whole song. All the chords and chord progressions are arpeggiated. And there's a lot of great voice leading too in between the chords. And voice leading just means how you move from one chord to the other. So if you're digging that kind of sound, definitely take some notes on the voice leading that's happening in this song because they do a really good job of it. Now you're gonna wanna print out the tabs, so click the link in the description to print those out because we are covering everything in this song from beginning to end, including that solo section which takes up like the last third of this song. We're not gonna be using a slide, however. They do use a slide in the last song solo, but we're just going to be learning how to play both guitars at the same time. So we can't really do that with a slide. All right, so do that, print that out, and then we're going to zoom in and check out how to play this totally awesome new Beach House track. All right, so we're in standard tuning today, and we're also in 12-8, which means that we're counting 12 numbers per measure. Now there's only four strong beats, four accents that naturally happen in 12-8. So you can really count it like this. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. But it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so that's 12-8. Definitely recommend the first way of just one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, to really feel this song. Let's start with the first four measures of this tune. They go like this. that we do is bar across fret 11 on the G, B, and high E strings. All right, so we're just gonna go like this from the top down, E, B, G, B, B, G. And that's pretty much how we're gonna arpeggiate everything is from the top down. So I'm playing that up, up, down as far as my picking goes. You can do it however is the most comfortable for you because you have to do it for the whole song. So pick which way is the easiest. So we do it twice on fret 11, and then we drop the top note here on the high E string down to fret nine. So it's nine, 11, 11. We do that twice. Awesome. Then we take everything and move it up to fret 13 and do basically the same move. So we go 13 across and then drop the top note down to fret 11 and do that chord. So the first two measures. And then we do this. We're jumping up to fret 14 on the B and high E strings and then your second finger here is gonna grab fret 15 on the G string. So your first finger is making a mini bar across the B and high E strings to grab fret 14. Still doing the top down twice. Take the first note then and drop it down to fret 13 and then grab the 14th fret on the B string with your second finger and the 15th fret with your third finger on the G string. That's twice as well. And then you're gonna jump down to fret 11 and do the same thing from the beginning, like that. So one more time, the first four measures. Great, so after that, we're gonna go like this. So we're making kind of a D shape here. I'm on fret eight with my first finger on the G string, eight as well with my second finger on the high E string, and then nine on the B string with my third finger going just like that. 
And then my fourth finger is gonna grab fret nine on the high E string. Moving that top note up one fret. Do that twice, just like everything else. And then one more time, bring it up now to fret 11. Like that, so it's eight, nine, 11. And then we go. Which is just bopping back and forth between nine and eight on the B and G string. So we go one, two, three. We kind of break up the accent pattern right there before we're going to this. All right, so one more time, this D shape here. Just like that. Now this next shape is a bit of a stretch. It works like this. Your pinky is gonna grab fret nine of the B string. Your first finger is gonna grab fret five of the G string and your second finger is gonna grab fret six of the D string. So we're dropping our string set down one and we're still doing from the top down. All right, so it's gonna work like that. So B, G, D, B, G, D. Once you do the first chord, you drop down the top note from nine to seven. So we have that sound. And then we drop it down one more to six. Now your first two fingers stay where they are the whole time. So the top note is the only thing that's moving. It's kind of the opposite of what's happened here. We're going up, this one we're going down. All right, so again, nine on the top, five on the middle, and six on the bottom. Going to seven, going to six. And then we do this. Making some nice sixth, sixth intervals, kind of leading up into the next section. So your first finger is on fret six of the G string. Your third finger is on fret eight of the A string. And we go like that, followed by, which we're just moving them up. This one here now is on fret eight. This one's on fret nine. And then we move up two more frets to, let's see, 10 and 11. Okay, and that's the whole first section of this song. Let's do the whole thing from the top. to the next part, which is essentially the same thing, just an octave lower. So we're starting from here. I'm going like that. Okay, so let's do the same thing that we did for the first section and just break down the first four measures now that this whole thing is an octave lower. So we're starting here on fret eight of the D and G strings. My first finger is barring those two strings together, and then my second finger is on fret nine of the A string. Just like before, arpeggiating twice from the top down. Now I'm going G, D, A, G, D, A. Nice, take the top note, move it down two frets. So now my first finger is on fret six of the G string. My third finger has fret eight of the D string and my fourth finger fret nine of the A string. Do the same thing, cool? Slide the whole thing up two frets. That's 
the next part. And then after that we have this shape. So my first finger is barring across the 11th frets of the D and G strings and then I have my third finger here on fret 13 of the A string. Nice. We move the top note down one fret this time. So we have to switch things up here. My pinky now has the 13th fret of the A string. My second finger has the 11th fret of the D string. My first finger is on fret 10 now of the G string. Move back to that first shape and then do the same there. All right, let's recap. The next part goes like this. So we're here making this shape. My first finger is on fret 5 of the G string. My second finger is on fret 6 of the A string and my third finger is on fret 6 of the D string. Go twice through that and then bar across the 6th fret on all three strings, the A, D, and G strings with your first finger. And then add your third finger to fret 8 of the G string. The top note is just climbing up. And then we go back to this shape, which is just 9 and 8 on the B and G strings. My fourth finger has the B string, my third finger has the G string. And then from here, you do like you did at the end of the first section and make these chords. And then the little climb. And then you're back at the beginning of the second section. All right, so let's play this whole part one more time from the top. That little climb up is very important because the next time around we do all of this whole section that I just played one more time, but the next time we're not going to do this. We're going to do instead and that brings us into sort of the next section. I like to think of the next part as the chorus. All right, so just like I said, we're gonna play the whole thing again, that whole second section that we just learned all over again, right? So that link here is this climbing part and that we go back to that. Now, on the second time, at the end of the second time, just to say it one more time, when you get to here, you're climbing down. You go to this. All right. So this part is my first finger is on fret six of the D string. My second finger is on fret six of the B string, and my third finger is on fret seven of the G string. You play that 
chord twice and then you're into the chorus section. All right, so here's how the chorus works. We just finished the verse on this shape here. Now we're gonna leave the top note and change the notes on the bottom. So we're jumping from this shape to this shape. My pinky is gonna have fret six of the B string, that same note from before. My first finger now has fret three of the G string and my second finger has fret four of the D string. We play that shape only once. B, G, D, and then we go to this shape. Now this is just two, three, four with your first, second, and third finger, so that's pretty easy. You do have to jump into it though pretty quickly. And then after that we have this shape here. The same kind of shape we just did, but two frets lower, so it's four, five, four. All right. And then you slide up. Bar across the sixth fret on the D, G, and B strings with your first finger. All right, so let's do all of that so far. Great, now the next part we add our second finger to fret seven of the B string and our third finger to fret eight of the D string. Makes that shape. And then we take our second finger off and then we add our fourth finger to fret eight of the B string. Then we go back down to fret seven with our second finger and then back to the bar. All right, so a lot of kind of small things happening in this shape. We start here, go there, so the B string has a lot of motion on it, but it's not very big, we're just moving things around like this. Okay? And that's the first half of this chorus section. Let's do it from the top. Now we're going to do the same thing at the beginning. But after this shape, instead of doing that, we're going to jump up to the G, B, and high E strings, still playing the same chord qualities, but just that going on. So again, starting here, barring across fret six on the G, B, and high E strings. And then we go and play with our pinky on fret eight of the B string. And then fret seven with your second finger on the B string. And then we do this. It's the same thing that we did here, just an octave higher. So we have fret 9 on the high E string and fret 10 on the G string. Then we go to 11 and 11, and then 13 and 13. Okay. So let's do that second half of the chorus from the top.
Now, the whole chorus from the beginning. Now what's cool about this little motion here is that we're going to start the whole song essentially from the top. So it works the same way as, like I said, it's down here and that it kind of leads us into the beginning, but now it's the beginning of the whole song. Nice. So like I was just saying, we do repeat everything from the top, starting here. 11 of the G, B, and high E strings, you know, this is the very beginning here. But we do have some new stuff to do sort of inside the verse during the repeat. So here we would repeat it again. But the second time around, we do something new right there. So I'm actually just going to play the whole thing for you so you can hear how it goes and then I'm going to break it down so you can get all that new stuff happening. Here we go. section. So let's break that down. So the first chord goes like this. My first finger is on fret six of the G string. My third finger is on fret eight of the D string. And my second finger is on fret seven of the B string. So we go just like that. And then we do this chord right here. So my first finger is on fret four of the D string and then my Third and fourth fingers are on fret six of the G and B strings. So you go from here to here. The next one goes like this. So we're starting basically from the first shape, just two frets higher. My first finger now is on fret eight of the G string. My second finger is on fret nine of the B string. And my third finger is on fret 10 of the D string. Okay, 
and then we go to this chord here. My first finger is on fret six of the D string. My second finger is on fret seven of the B string. My third finger on fret eight of the G string. So from here to here. Let's do those first four shapes. Then we do this, we jump up to fret 11 and bar across the D, G, and B strings. We drop the middle note down one fret to make this shape using my first, second, and third fingers on the G, D, and B strings. And then we go to this, which is four, six and seven on the D, G, and B strings. So it's here, to here, to here. Drop the top note down to fret six. So it's six, six, four from the top down. Then we flip it around and make this shape. Four, five, and six on the B, G, and D strings that twice, and then bar across fret 6, do that twice, and then we add our 3rd and 4th fingers to the 8th and 9th frets of the G and B strings, like that. So let's think, let's start from here, from 11. Do this, this, and this. Once we're here, we start this idea, which we know how to do already. And that leads us into the chorus. But that actually is the beginning of the solo right there. So instead of playing this, you play the solo. So this solo section at the end of this song is actually pretty easy. Yeah, there's two guitars happening at the same time, but they're always playing together, which is really nice. So the first guitar comes in two times before the other guitar, and then they just play together for like two minutes, and then the second guitar plays the last one out just by itself. So the first guitar goes like this. We start on fret 13 of the high E string, and the first guitar is just going to get the E string, okay? So 13 goes to 9, and then 8, and then 6. That's the first measure. Now you can play these with whatever finger you want because it's pretty slow. So 13, 9, 8, 6. The second measure is 9, 8, 6, 9. The third measure is 8, 4, 3, 13. And the last measure is 13, 13. And then we do ba, 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 which is a lot quicker than the others. So it's like this. On 
that last measure you play it three times at the regular tempo and then three times faster. Cool, so the second guitar is harmonizing with the first and we're gonna be doing this. So play 14 on the B string with 13 on the high E string. And then we go to nine and 11. So nine is on the top, 11 is on the bottom. And then we go to eight and nine. And then we go to seven and six, okay? So it's, I'll do it from the B string to the high E string. So it's 14 and 13, 11 and nine, and then nine and eight, seven and six. Now what's cool is the second guitar continues to go down while the first one jumps back up. So we have this shape here. We have six on the B string and nine on the E string. And then we jump back to nine and eight, and then seven and six. Let's do it from the top. After this, we jump to nine and 11, or excuse me, 11 and nine, and then nine and eight. Here we go and jump down to six and four, and then four and three. And then slide all the way back to the beginning. Like that. So from the top, I'll do the whole thing pretty slow. do is just finish out by playing only the notes on the B string. So it's going to be Alright, so that's going to be it for this lesson. If you guys have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, you can hit that subscribe button too and get a lot more lessons just like this one. Alright, so thanks for watching one more time and I'll see you again in another lesson.